I like this uh, one. Uh, it's orange. It's kind of getting... Well, uh, yeah, me too, but yeah. I had to come up here and ask this Good. She's got one. That's what she's got. <laughs> Stuff's important. Oh, there's a two or three that do our graphics. Mm -hmm. We got some of those little kids out there, don't we? Okay, go ahead. Have some beavers. You got a guy. Sundays when the bass. Oh, by the way, I got some good news. Oh, Man, I mean, it's, just, it's just a process of the one again. Every time, and it's news even on one side. Yeah. And call the meeting to order. Uh, mayor and all commissioners are present for the meeting today. Uh, invocation today is going to be given by Brad Mendenhall and flag salute. Colonel, could you uh, lead us in the flag salute? Okay. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we pause for, before this meeting here this evening just to recognize your goodness over our life, over this community, Lord God. And Father, we do pray that your light continues to shine brightly over this great community. And Lord, help us to steward it, steward it well, Lord God, with the responsibilities that you give us. And Lord, we do ask that for every challenge that lies before us as a community and citizens, Lord God, Father, that you help us through those. Give these leaders here tonight the wisdom that they need to make uh, the good decisions uh, to lead us in that path that you'd have for us to go. Lord, most importantly of all tonight, we just want to say that we appreciate all you've done for us and thank you and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you both. All right. Item number three, minutes. Uh, item 3.1, consider approval of minutes of the regular commission meeting of February 20th, 2020. So moved. Second. Motion and a second. Any corrections or discussion? Seeing none, please cast your ballot. Motion carries, 7-0. Thank you. Item number four. Awards, presentations, proclamations, and organizational business. Item 4.1, present pet available for adoption at the city animal shelter. Good evening, I'm Erica. I'm the adoption and volunteer coordinator at Animal Control. And tonight I brought Honey with me. Honey is, believe it or not, a five-year-old lab. She acts like she's one or maybe a little bit younger. <laughs> she has lots of energy. She loves playing with toys. She loves other dogs. And she's just looking for her forever home. She's one of our many dogs that we have available at Animal Control. We are open um, Monday through Friday from six, 10 to 6 and Saturday and Sunday from 12 to 3. So come out and come find your future for a baby. And we are always looking for volunteers, too. So come out and see us. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Uh, item number 4.2, recognize employees of the month. Gerald? Yes. Let's call it three. I'll tell you what, let's do Annette Radomski first. Come on up, Annette. Jennifer. I could stand here a long time. I've known Annette. Well, actually, Annette may have a little seniority on me because you were here once before I was and you came back to us because it's such a great place to work, right? Yes, sir. And so Annette has been a key uh, person, a key member of the team in accounting the whole time, uh, more than 15 or 15 or so years. And so she's done a whole lot of things in her life, uh, worked at the base. She's been an aircraft mechanic, which is always impressive. Um, and I believe she worked at Atwoods when you came to us uh, originally. So, but Jennifer, why don't you talk about how wonderful Annette is? Oh. <laughs> uh, just like he said, we worked together uh, almost 15 years. Uh, I've been her supervisor for a little over five. And she's 
one of our go-to people for the accounting department. She is our grant guru for auditing and making sure that we do everything properly for the audit. She helps with court, uh, oversees the court bonds account, and make sure that that is kept reconciled and the APHIS and forensics and what's the other one? Clean. Clean. is uh, taken care of every month. And the hotel motel tax, she oversees all of that and she even goes to the new hotels, new staff and trains them to make sure that they're doing everything properly. And she's very knowledgeable, uh, she's very dependable, and we definitely are glad to have her in accounting. A great asset to the city of Enid. And I've got a coin for you. Thank you know, you. you being a, kind of a military person there, you know all about that. I, I wanted to say something else about Annette because she's really fun to work with. And I know, Colonel, if she had been in the Air Force, she would have been an intelligence officer. Because if I want to know anything going on, I can come talk to Annette. She has all the intel on what's going on. So, Annette, do you want to tell, tell people how great it is? Or, or? <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. Yeah, the city is a great place to work. I do enjoy working here. Like he said, I was at the base for 22 years. And I hope to come close to that before I retire from here. Christopher Williams, come on down. You know, Chris, gosh, these are just wonderful selections because I remember, I think I do have a little bit of seniority on you. You had started, you had started back in those old days when we had to go and read every meter by hand, right? Or by foot, I should say. You had to walk the routes, thousands of meters. So you figured out how to move someplace else and you ended up in the water department where you can be out fixing stuff all, all times of the night, but you do a lot of locating for us and, and congratulations, you've been selected by your peers. <coughs> so I got a coin for you, we got a plaque, and then I know you like public speaking. So <laughs> I'll make it short. And Chris, you may... Chris may want to say wonderful things about you first. Sorry, well, I got go ahead. Order. Yeah, actually, rather he speak first, but uh, that's great. Chris has been with us for uh, like 10 years since they came out with the new automated meters. Uh, he stopped reading meters. Uh, but he didn't stop walking. He uh, walks and locates our utilities for us uh, anytime there's an excavation going to happen. Last year, he did over 6,200 locates. Uh, last month, he finished a special project uh, in preparation for the COP pipeline, uh, a little over three and a half miles of uh, utility locates uh, in about a week and a half, all while he kept uh, up with the routine and emergency locates. Now, emergency locates, uh, we get a call any time of the day, and within two hours, you got to be out there to, to, to find the utilities, so whoever needs to do the digging and excavating can do it. This is a go-to guy. He knows the infrastructure. He knows where everything is. So we're really glad to have him in uh, utility maintenance. I'll keep it short. There are not a lot of areas you can go to where you enjoy your job every day. Sometimes you'll get lucky. I've been very lucky with the city of Eden for almost 15 years. Thank you. Hey, our next employee hasn't been with us for 15 years, but I think she's been there, you've been here over a year now. Christine Sanborn, why don't you come on down? And She's in our uh, roadway and stormwater maintenance department. And Christine, uh, the, the, the thing that I really know about her is when I see her out crack ceiling or filling potholes or whatever she's doing, she always has a very positive attitude and a smile on her face. So she's a wonderful addition to the team. I'm so glad you were selected by your fellow employees and supervisor. So. Uh, Brian, you want to say a few words and then? As City Manager Gilbert said, that uh, Christine has been with us, but just a little over a year. 
And she is a go-to lady in our department. Uh, she's one that can be called upon to do just about any task or assignment that she's been asked to do. Um, she's very good at, uh, if she's not sure about a task, she notifies management to make sure that the task is done correctly. But I think the utmost thing about it for me is her display and her attitude. She has the most wonderful attitude during her shift. And I couldn't ask for a better employee to this month for the employee of the month. So Christine. I've had fun the past, I'm coming up on two years in June. Um, I've had fun, I've grown a lot as a person. Um, a lot of people think highly of me and this award really boosts my confidence. I have, have confidence problems sometimes, but guess what, this is like the best thing and I hope that it grows on me more and more. Thanks guys. All right, while they're coming forward, uh, let me go to the next item. Uh, yeah, item three, it's, uh, we're gonna do a proclamation for Longfellow, but before we do that, uh, Commissioner uh, Mason has asked for a couple minutes to speak, and then uh, what we'll do is I'll let him speak, I'll read the proclamation, then we're gonna ask all the students and faculty to come forward and line up, after which I'll present a mayor's coin to each and Commissioner uh, Mason will follow so he can congratulate each person. So. Very good. Go ahead. Well, thank you, Mayor. I appreciate that. I, um, <clears throat> about a month ago, I got, I got a call from Stan Brownlee wanting to know if I would come up to Longfellow and speak to one of their classes. And uh, I said, certainly, I'd be happy to. I said, uh, uh, tell me about it, though, Stan. Tell me something about it. And he started telling me how he has mentored classes since 1986. And I'd have to do the math, that's a, that's a lot of years. And that he thinks this class might be absolutely the best that he's ever had. So whenever I started asking him why, he proceeds to tell me this story about a science project that they had done, which I had not heard this, and I don't know if you've heard it or not, but basically they uh, entered a contest, put a science project to, together to find out the effect of gravity on a bean, if I understand it correctly. They submitted that, beat out the, the middle school, beat out 47 high schools in our region and was selected by NASA to have their project sent up to the International Space Station. So I heard that and I said, Stan, why have I not heard this story? Uh, I said, the city needs to know about this. We recognize, we celebrate a lot of things in this city. I don't think we celebrate academics near enough. Um, I said, and I know that it's easy to hear all the things that go wrong in education. This is a shining star right here. Mrs. Uh, Patnode, where are you at? Where, thank you so much. There are great teachers out there and there are great students that can excel so much farther than what we even give them credit for. So when you get a chance to uh, talk to these students, make sure you shake their hand. They're probably gonna be the leaders sooner than we even realize in this community and throughout the world. I uh, will also say when I went up and spoke at, uh, at Longfellow, as I was standing there, they came in, every single one of them looked me in the eye, shook my hand and told me their name. Do you realize how many adults don't do that today? Uh, they have, uh, and I'll get it wrong, but they have five rules that they live by. Maybe one of them can tell you about it, but I remember one of them was, don't make an excuse for what you did. So, uh, I was inspired whenever I left. Stan, thank you so much for asking me to come up there. That just uh, really meant a lot to me, and students, thank you all so much, not just for being here tonight, but for thinking outside of the box. Never, ever limit yourself, okay? I'm, I'm very, very proud of you, and I know this whole group is as yeah. well. Yeah. Well, thanks, uh, 
Commissioner Mason for bringing this forward. We all too often see the bad news in the paper about people that make a mistake, and we very seldom hear the really good news about what our students are doing and what our young people are doing. So I appreciate you bringing it forward. Welcome. Uh, that said, what I'd like to do is just read the proclamation from here, and then I'll present it later. <coughs> okay. Uh, proclamation, City of Enid, Oklahoma. Whereas... Longfellow Middle School participated in the Student Spaceflight Experiments Program, and whereas Longfellow Middle School beat out other teams in the district with their what effect does microgravity have on germination of a pinto bean experiment, and whereas the students were closely emailing and conducting phone interviews with David H. Ruff, PhD, and the Department of Plant Science at Pennsylvania State University, and whereas, in addition to research and design, the students had to type a proposal following NASA's rigorous guidelines. And whereas, as a class, they set up mock trials for their experiment that will be traveling to the International Space Station this summer. And whereas the data they are collecting will help them answer their hypothesis once we receive the experiment back from NASA. Now, therefore, I, George Pankinen, mayor of the city of Enid, Oklahoma, do hereby proclaim March 3rd, 2020, as Longfellow Middle School Day, in witness whereof I have hereunder set my hand and caused the seal of the, uh, seal of the city of Enid to be affixed this third day of March, 2020. Congratulations. David, if you'll come up with me. Can I ask the students and faculty to please come up and just kind of line up here? Don't be bashful now. These are coins from, uh, it says Enid and Vance, Partners in the Sky, George Pankinen, presented by the Mayor of Enid. Tell them how you do that, how you pass that. Oh, okay. Usually you don't show people coins. It's kind of a military tradition. What you do is kind of palm it, and nobody can drop it because that's not good, okay? <laughs> I want to do it, but know that, uh, that it is a coin for the uh, Mayor of Enid. Congratulations. Good job. You guys Very did a great job. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Yep. Very proud. Good job. Good job. Good job. Very proud of you. There you go. Great job. Great job. Great job. Thank you. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks for what you do, Steve. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Thank you. 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 Yep. There we go. Maybe he's got a We don't have enough cameras out there. Can somebody else come? <laughs> All right. Everybody ready? I'm not used to being in the second row. I appreciate this. Yeah. <laughs> Are you staring at a box back there? <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you. 
you all don't have to stay for the rest of it if you aren't super interested in the exciting. Thank you. You're all welcome. Don't get me wrong. But. Yeah. <laughs> So they're smart and exercise. Yeah, good judgment. <laughs> good judgment. Yeah. <laughs> good judgment. It's great to see family members and stuff. It's incredible to be so like that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that. They're watching on YouTube. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Moving to item number five, uh, consent agenda items. Move to approve. Second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? Seeing none, please cast your ballots. Motion carries 7 0. Thank you. Item number six, recess to convene as the Enid Municipal Authority. Item number seven, all trustees of the Enid Municipal Authority regular meeting are in attendance. Item 7.1, approval of claims in the amount of $304,023.49. Second. Okay, motion and a second. Any discussion? Cast your ballots. Seven zero. Thank you. Uh, Item number eight, adjourn to convene as the Enid Economic Development Authority. Item number nine, trust, all trustees of the Enid Economic Development Authority regular meeting are in attendance. Item number 10, Enid Economic Development Authority regular meeting is now in session. Item number 10.1, approval of claims in the amount of $4,000. Motion to approve. Second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? Cast your ballot. Motion carries 7-0. Item number 11, adjourn to convene as the Enid Public Transportation Authority. Item number 12, all trustees of the Enid Public Transportation Authority regular meeting are in attendance. Item number 13, Enid Public Transportation Authority regular meeting is now in session. Item number 13.1, approval of claims in the amount of $747.74. Second. Okay. Motion and a second, any discussion? Cast your ballots. Motion carries 7-0. Thank you. Item number 14, adjourn to, to reconvene as the Enid City Commission. Item number 15, public comment. Did we get a sheet? Um, there's a sheet. I believe Diane signed up. Yep. I don't know if anybody else has. <laughs> um, Ms. Levesque. I'm Levesque, 1324 West Oak Avenue, and I guess I just inherited a bunch of barcodes here and some and a, and a foster grant case. You might want to check with Lost and Found to whoever does accounting and whoever <clears throat> lost the case there, but I did want to address the matter uh, downstairs about five-year-olds uh, going to school and truancy issues because I've had five-year-olds and older just roaming the streets during school hours and it's a matter of importance as to who has uh, supervisory custody of that child at any given time of the day. It has been the case, especially in my neighborhood, where kids are proclaiming themselves self-schooled or homeschooled. Yeah, yeah they, they might as well be self-schooled for all their learning, and it's the matter that their parents are just let, letting them roam the streets, I guess, learning from the school of hard knocks. I don't know, but somebody needs to be responsible for juveniles 24-7, even at, what, 3 o'clock in the morning when a 14-year-old goes out to burglarize something, gets shot and dies here in Enid. It's a matter of custodial control at all times, and that's for the safety of the neighborhood. 
As far as the town hall goes, I had to leave after two hours. I filled out a card, I waited my turn, and people spoke out a turn, but I was being very polite about it. But after two hours, I had to go home. So, so much for filling out the card and waiting my turn. But of course, you all can count on me to come up here and speak about the Caw Pipeline matter, whether or not, but uh, the audience isn't here, alas. But I did manage to uh, run into a few fans in the audience. I know you're watching. The Caw Pipeline issue having to do with there being an er Ernie Courier factor in there was brought up at the uh, town hall. And the matter of uh, financing the thing if you don't know how much it costs. Now, I know how engineering goes. I know how construction goes. A lot of times, especially in a large project, you're going to run into things that are unexpected, and you're usually going to have an overrun on that. However, when you say that you're too broke, you can't say that because, number one, you've got a sales tax uh, passed for that. So your sales go up or your sales go down, and I'm going to point out that this month we are a year into the newspaper's failure to report on uh, the sales tax, and they used to do that fairly regular. They don't do that anymore. And we, the people, insist on knowing, and I think if you came away from anything from this uh, town hall on that, you came away from that. The people have a right to know, and not just Mr. Mitchell, individually. And uh, OK, I'm going to confess I'm the one who wrote the question without signing it. How does a resident get the same um, code exemption that is enjoyed by the uh, Broadway Tower Block, which is a mess, and I'm glad Mr. Azell came and spoke up in, in the uh, study session to say that the building is empty. It sure looks like it. It's a dive. And the people who are getting ticketed by the City Code Commission have better properties looking than that, and you're downtown, and you're expecting to uh, impress all your uh, visitors that come to visit? No, whatever, whatever exemption those people enjoy, the residents should enjoy. And keep in mind, nobody going to the, uh, the stadium is going to tour residential areas, but they will downtown. OK. All right, thank you. Um, item number 16, executive session. Item number 16.1, consider convening into executive session to discuss negotiations with Coke Fertilizer Enid LLC and reconvene into regular session to take any necessary action. Motion to approve. Second. Second. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Place your vote. Okay. Motion carries 7-0. Each upstairs.